always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down up, rather 22. NASDAQ is flat. S&P is also flat. Gold contract down $18.60, trading at 1784 an ounce. We have silver down 17 cents, $23.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 55 cents, $83.36 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year flat, 130.25. The 30 year uh, up 15 at 161. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now up 781 ticks. This thing took off like a rocket ship, man. 94,127. Not sure what, what the juice was uh, in behind this, but uh, we'll go over it because uh, pretty intense. No two ways about it. Euro, euro is at 115, the yen's at 113.90, and the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have here at all-time highs? I think the S&P still, it looks like it's negative, folks, but it's not. It's in an all-time high. Yeah, you got it down 11 cents or something. Um, and that's only because you closed at an all-time high yesterday. We closed at uh, 458.32, and uh, bottom line, you're at 458.17. Uh, now, let me do this. Let me do this this way. I'm just curious if the S&P, the, the, the Qs are going to be a lost engulfing. That's on the daily. Okay, so it's close. On the weekly, no, it's not. On the monthly... Uh, on the monthly, it is. Okay, so so you have a lost engulfing on the monthly on the SPY. We, on, the, on the Qs, we have it on the daily, weekly, and monthly. So this is, you know, pretty intense. Now, it doesn't mean that it has to go down, but this type of signal, folks, okay, is a real bearish signal. And this is the type of move. Uh, hey, we'll see where it goes. We're going to have another contraction of volume out here today. They've only done 27 million shares. Yesterday we did uh, 38 million. We'll probably do about 38 million again today, maybe 40 million. Um, you know, and hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Inside the NDX 100 today, the strength versus the weakness. You have the strength out here. This, this thing moved beyond belief. Um, the symbol is TEAM, T-E-A-M. Uh, you had Dexcom also up uh, nine. Look at these numbers, man. Team was up 10.12%, Dexcom up 9.6%, eBay up 5.8%, and VeriSign up 5.5%. Taken away from it, Starbucks down 7%. You get Charter Communications off 5 Gilead's off 45 and Baidu's off 43 uh, The big dogs out here last night that came out with the numbers, Apple, Apple right now is trading at uh, 149 uh, the low today was 146, and let's put this on a weekly. Let's see what we got there. So if I put this on a weekly, yeah, you get a failure on a weekly on Apple. Amazon, we take a look at Amazon, see what we got with Amazon up and happening out here. Amazon rejected uh, 32.73. You're at 33.45. You're down 100 bucks, which means nothing in a $3,000 stock. Yeah, that's interesting, though. That's still saying it wants the lower end of its consolidation. Amazon, so check this out, man. This is pretty amazing how many people Amazon has actually hired. Where is it? Okay, here it is right here. Amazon global workforce surged 75% during the pandemic to keep up with the demand, and they're going to turn around. So, okay, they increased the numbers from 628,000 to 1.4 million workers. And they are going to, let's see, so you got 1.4 million right now, and they're going to be hiring a slew of people for the holidays. Gold, gold contract out here. Uh, bottom line, they, it's down 1770. We hit a low of 1772. It did reject lower price out here, and bottom line, it bounced back up. It's, it's, this, this gold market, man, is something else. I mean, it, it just is. It's like, you know, it's like, was it, I heard, 
was it on TD Ameritrade this morning? I think it was TD Ameritrade's uh, show this morning. You know, they, they were talking about the aspect of uh, inflation. Is it transitory? Is it real? It's like, it, it, I don't even understand why there's actually, well, no, I understand why there's still a conversation about it because the bottom line, the Fed is trapped like rats. They, they're trying to figure out, okay, you know, what do we do here? Um, you know, we get inflation raging, okay? They start basically putting interest rates up. Well, guess what? We know interest rates go up. Uh, you know, the federal government is, is the largest owner of debt. <laughs> so right off the bat, uh, I don't think that is one of the m main reasons, but guess what? You know, they, they know you can't strangle the economy very quickly before it even gets going. And the jobs number out here, um, you know, I think is going to be like this for quite some time. Dollar. Good old King Dollar. So let's take a look at King Dollar because when you see this move, this is like something else. And it's, Look at this move, man. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, you came down with conviction yesterday. You go up with conviction today, so it's like, okay, which way you want to go? Hey, I can show you this. This is the, the, so the currency markets and the bond market. That's what's happening in here right now. Because watch the the bond market also. Same setup inside the bond market. Um, what you have with the bond market is this: is that you can see. Oh, see, it was, it was lower, but it, it rejected. Ooh, see, the bonds went higher price, man. So. The 30-year, what you have with the 30-year is this. We, were, we went from 158 to 161. Then you go sideways. It got lower today, and you know what? It rejected the lower price and went topside. Um, as to the market in general, does it like inflation? Uh, I suspect what we've actually had here is that the market had picked up inflation's coming out. These are inflated numbers. Um, inflation inside of everything's not bad if there's a small amount, not if there's huge amounts of inflation. Inflation, folks, robs everyone just like that. Takes your savings, takes your money, it disappears into inflation heaven. Stay right there, folks, coming back.